It's about to be all over my hands. And I'm about to freak the internet out. Oh my God, you're not wearing gloves. Welcome, it's the 10th time I've done this with no gloves on for you guys. <laughs> Always. Right, Davide? Hey, poops. You ready for me to pick up your... He's so mad at me because I do feet clean, like feet treatments on him twice a day. And ever since then, he runs through me. <laughs> he lets you pet him. He doesn't let me pet him anymore because of his foot treatments. The things I do, and then you just now run away from me. We're gonna do a, a cage switch up, lay out, switch up. The hard shell of the cage will remain the same. The interior of the cage will change. Is that you trying to describe what you're trying to describe? Um, yeah, because if I say new cage layout, people might think it's like the actual cage, the grids themselves. No, 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 we are never changing those again. That took way too long. So you're decorating it. Yeah, we are redecorating. This is redecoration day, you know. Everybody's lived like this with this sort of semi-same setup. So I think it's just time to switch it up and see how everybody likes it. You know? All right, so let's get a before tour. Here's our tour, here's our Hayden. You know, we give it a nice little cover. We've got David underneath here. Watch, boop, bye David. Double tunnel system into a pouch. David and Bebe, this is where they sleep. I'm pretty sure one of them's in here, watch. She doesn't leave though, this is her butt. I could do this to her butt and she fights me. Hi. She won't move. Hi. Hi. She goes like this. See, I hold my ground. Hi. Hi. She does not care about someone trying to take her spot. She will fight for her spot. So because when they... <laughs> he just tried to run into that bed with Johnny and Johnny chased him out. So this is sort of what I call David's breezeway. As you can see, he runs. So I've just always kept this like open. Here is another sleep spot. Yep. As we come to the right wing of the cage, we've got another very popular sleep spot as you can see by all those poops in there. And oh. look, David, he's on top of her. And now he's beside her. How is there two guinea pigs in there? She's like, don't say you guys, it's him. All right, so as you can see by the poops, that's a very popular sleep corner. And then over here, we have our second hay station on the right wing of the house. House. And another little sleep station over here. So, oh, David's taking a, taking a poo, adding to the poo pile. He's like, well, I am at the toilet, so might as well do business while I'm here. Good boy, clean up your bum bum. Clean your bum bum. Clean your bum bum. You nasty. Usually he will. What do you mean clean his bum? You know, they like get clean the poop out. They eat the poop. It's kind of like cleaning. So that is our layout for the top cage. We are gonna switch things up and see how they thrive with a new layout. So you guys have seen me clean this cage before, so I'm probably gonna have Josh kind of speed up through me, just like stripping out everything, cause y'all see me do that. And really we're gonna just focus on redecorating the inside. So I will see you on the other side. So do you think they like it when you redecorate? Like, do you think it helps stimulate them or like they get some enjoyment out of it? I mean, that's essentially what it is. It's like changing up their environment to give them something new to explore, which is why they say free room space is important. I just don't have free room space anymore. So I try to do this with them as much as I can.
Watch out, Momo. Where are you going? Laundry. There's like no way to do all of that work and not start laundry because it piles up. Look, I already, well, there's some in the wash. There's some right here ready to go in next. Mama, you get your ball. Oh, there it goes. Oh no, bye ball. And all the way to the back gate. You'll never see that ball again. It's gone. Cause that's gonna get in the pool. It's gross. How often do you guys do pig laundry a week? <laughs> oh my God, Johnny, you're so cute. Look at you, surrounded by enrichment. Look at you looking like it, cause you're so porky. Girl. Okay, side one. Side one. So how often do you guys change around your cages? Let me know in the comments, because maybe I'm not doing mine enough. I'd love to know what you do. All right, so I am still gonna make this the hay section. It was either this corner or that corner. It's just gonna be this corner. And then maybe next time I'll make it that corner. But because I'm changing everything else up, I do want one thing that's like kind of, you know, what they're used to. Familiar. That's the word. All right, so I personally love, and I shouldn't say me personally, only in addition to as well as they personally love hay piles. So what I like to do is put a base so that under the tunnels, there's hay. And then, yeah, no, I gotta put the tunnels back up. So now there's hay under the tunnels. And then what I like to do is then come over top of the tunnels like so, so that it's hanging off and kind of like a tent over the tunnel because then they can nest easier under it with it having space like that, which is what the majority of mine do prefer. So there we go. So then there's a big messy old hay pile. And then when Josh isn't filming, I'll again take my blankets and cover over the areas so that when the piles aren't, they're not able to go under the piles, then they'll at least still have covering with the, the blankets. All right, so this corner, I'm going to put up this little oxbow house. So I put mine in a catty corner like this instead of this way because mine always prefer a double exit entrance. So now see how these hang off the pad? That means I should probably get a bigger pee pad for underneath of it. This one is from Alyssa and Pets. It's like one of my favorite designs. I love the moons and things. All right, there we go. See how much of a better fit that is, how these edges don't hang off, so now everything's well balanced. So this would be considered a sleep spot because someone would sleep there. So there's four pigs in this cage. So I like to have a sleep spot for each pig and then one extra just in case. So if there's four pigs in here, I like to have what I call five sleep spots. So this would be a sleep spot. Now, wherever there's a sleep spot, 
typically someone likes to lay right outside of it because they want it. So this gives that like extra little like, okay, if someone's in here and someone else wants to be, they can wait for their chance right here in this tunnel because that's sort of what mine do. And then what I really like to do with these sleep spots is take a pillowcase take little binder clips and just do that and drape it over the tunnel and I kind of just tuck it back and then there you go. They love it. Yeah, so now we, now we gotta do the second half. Yep, go ahead, little lady. Keep it moving. All right, we're gonna just leave this one over there for now. So now I gotta herd the rest, because everybody's over here. Hi, if you'd like to make a mess, please go into the right wing of the house. Hi, right wing of the house, sir, yep. Right wing of the house. Mm. Ma'am. Hi, ma'am. No, you're just going to let me pet you because you're so sweet. Hi, babe. You my babe. The only babe who lets me do this. Hey, sweet babe. David used to let me until I started treating his feet, and now he doesn't let me. <sighs> Both of y'all again. Dava day, dava day, dava day. I paint your butt. Come on, get your butt. Come on, act like, if I pick, act like I pick you up, you'll go. Go, 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 go. Take your time, why don't you? <laughs> Once I take this up, they won't go over here because they'll be scared. All right, so these were the piggy bunk beds from the pig room that were in the cage. They are gonna go in the wash, aka the shower, and get hosed off with some soap. These are the jumbo size, and I'm gonna be replacing them with these clean ones I have over here. Another thing that I'm switching up that I didn't have in the cage prior was I am gonna do a hay rack. So I haven't had a hay rack in there for them for like, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks now. Take them out, I put them in, I just, sometimes I like them in there and then sometimes I just, to say to heck with it, like I'm just doing hay piles, but in the spirit of switching things up, we are gonna do a hay pile this go around. I mean, we are gonna do a hay rack this go around. And instead of doing a hay pile on this side and then how the last one was over here, I'm gonna do it in this little nook right here. And we're just gonna stick it right in the middle so that they can access it from each side in the front. I'll spread your toys back out in a minute once we get going. All right, so maybe I'll put a bed here. Guys, I might switch this around like a couple times. I don't really know what I'm doing. Or do I want it this way? We'll do pink on pink. And then a little Star of David. Might not be Hanukkah, but ain't no stopping us now. We're on a run. And then this is a piggy bunk bed pig mat, but I'm putting it up here for right now just to give some coverage. These are 
enrichment toys that I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet. All right, so this girl, look at Alexis. Hey, kid. She loves that spot. All right, so this group super duper loves these. So I'm thinking I'm gonna double it up. I've never put two of them in here before. So this can go here, this can go there. This, like is these. And then maybe we'll do this one. Does this seem like a weird spot? And then we'll put this one here, because then I can take this and drape it back over. Are you nibbling on your little kebabby? Go, David, go. Go, David, go, David, go. All right, so let's get a blankie, because I have a feeling this is gonna be a popular spot. I'm still not into this. I'm not into that. Come on, kid. That a good girl. Maybe I'll put this here. This one needs to be washed anyway. That can go there. Oh, it is going through. Oh, off the other side. Good girl. All right, so now we count sleep spots to make sure I'm doing this right. So one sleep spot, two sleep spot, three, four, five. Perfect. Because really, David's gonna sleep wherever Bebe is. Because that's what he do. She don't like it, but that's just how it goes. All right, where should I put the other kebab? Where do you think you'd like it? Where is a good that spot? That looks fair. Yeah, but no one's gonna do anything over there. I feel like it needs to be in like a spot where they feel covered. So that's like over here because what's gonna happen, this is gonna go like a Z's. And another reason I wanted to open this section up because it was the closed house here is this spot gets afternoon sun and they really do like being in the sun for a little bit. You know, who doesn't? Go girl, go girl, yeah. Go girl. I feel like a mat should go right there. Hold please, because I have one left. Do y'all even chew on your mats anymore? I feel like what we're missing is something right here. I mean, David, tell me how you really feel about that kebab. All I did was move it to a new spot and it's like, has all new life. Whole new meaning now. Here we go. Yeah, it's a mega tent. What do you think? I love this stuff. Guys, don't worry about what's happening underneath the sheets right now. It is for adults only. <laughs> David, keep it PG. All right, so. I'm not gonna do a tour of the top until we finish the bottom. But before I can start the bottom, I'm gonna have to go outside, dump the dump bucket, shake out all this, make room, cause it's gonna be a whole big old mess all over again. And you're gonna see all my beautiful angles when I'm filling the under cage, like that. That's what I look like when I clean the bottom cage. Great, great, great for you too. Great for my self-esteem. Like I predicted, one's in the little hide and one's right in the breezeway. Right, baby? That's just how they are. One's always right outside, like on, on the waiting list. Predictable. Hey, beautiful. It's so hard doing the bottom. This is the only thing about stacked cages that's not my favorite is full cage cleans. But nonetheless, here we tucking go. I have two hay pile areas on either side of the cage, which those I feel like do need to stay because they are highly used areas. So I really don't wanna change up their hay situation because they like it, they're comfortable with it, and they utilize it. Whereas on the top, 
this side hay pile did not get utilized. That's why I felt comfortable switching it to just a hay rack. These guys really prefer these two areas. So I'm gonna have to really get into my creative juice to try to figure out what I can do to switch this cage up, but also keep the hay areas the same. So we'll see. This is how you know areas are popular, when there's lots of duties, lots of duties. Okay, I'm done. Not that you guys are out of breath or anything, but I am. Mostly my back is out of breath from doing that lower cage, but she is done. Are you ready for the grand tour? Are you ready for MTV Cribs? I'm proud of you. Guinea pig jungle cribs, y'all. All right, we've got hay section here. Just as you saw before, I'm not gonna unmask it. They are tent, tented out, tent. We have our little oxbow hide house into a tunnel, into a squish tunnel from Cute Critter Shop. And we got our hay racks from Ellie Guinea Pigs right here. So we got our double hay sections, or double hay stations, I should say. Now we have just like another tunnel into another little cozy section, another Cute Critter Shop, Puddle tunnel over to our pig room bunk bed that's our upstairs downstairs all right so to switch it up since I had to keep the same hay stations I moved this big small pet select wooden house and I moved it from this back corner to over here and where the big wooden house was I just I put together two piggy bunk beds. I did a jumbo. So this is a jumbo piggy bunk bed. And then this is just the regular size piggy bunk bed. And I kind of butted them up to each other. So it's like a double cuddle puddle. And then we go into a cute critter shop cuddle sack, cuddle tunnel. And then where Gigi is, we have a pig room tunnel, a, a soft cuddle tunnel. So this is like another little hangout corner with our kebab. And then we go into the second hay station area and it's pretty much set up just like it was before minus the car washer in the corner. I just took that away because it doesn't really serve a purpose over there. As you can see, they're very happy about their original hay sections. They love that. And that's all folks. <laughs> <laughs>